This spectacular Spider-Man cartoon on Channel 11 is pretty cool. I watch it with my daughter every Saturday. Got you looking stupid. Sleeping. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fearsome foes, Spidey in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler, like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. So we are coming to the last uh, week in the month, and the last theme in the month for the ACBA Facebook group. We did something a little different this. Uh, this month, rather than having a month-long theme, we had a new theme each week. So shout out again to Billy Mahoney for coming up with that idea and making up the calendar to keep everybody on point with that. I think the idea has worked really well, so most likely we'll be pushing forward with that same type of idea for December. So don't forget to come out and join us in the group, have a little fun. Uh, last week's theme was a duo, so I had a little vanilla shot of Thor and Beta Ray Bill that I posted up. But I was really just setting up for uh, uh, a more expanded scene that I have here with the uh, those two and Valkyrie. And it was kind of a segue into this week's theme, which is really used figures. So Beta Ray Bill, I think, is a great figure from Marvel Legends, and he's really used, as is Valkyrie. Uh, I don't really think she's a great figure, but I think she's really used. I'd like to see Hasbro redo her, actually, with that new female body mold. But we need that ab crunch, need that ab crunch. So Giant Man Series Thor, Beta Ray Bill, Valkyrie here, over the three members of the Wrecking Crew that we have. Obviously, we are still missing, uh, uh, what's this guy? Bulldozer. So yeah, moving right along. We really need more Asgardian characters and Thor supporting characters in general. I don't know if you guys remember, but like a month, maybe two months ago, Hasbro had announced a six inch Thor Legends line uh, with the uh, specifics to be uh, determined or to be announced down the road and then nothing. Thor movie done came out already. So I don't know what happened with that. I would have thought we would have got some uh, other characters to support Thor, maybe a Warriors 3. They already have the blob mold that would be perfect for uh, Volstagg. I believe that's his name, the fat dude. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Who knows what's happening. But that would be really cool if they went ahead and uh, completed the Warriors 3 at least. And then maybe a Hemdol or a Odin. I mean, so many possibilities for uh, Thor characters. Let me get that. Of course, it's the wrong number. But uh, uh, I think at this point, those supporting Thor characters might be reaching. I'd be happy with just uh, updated Valkyrie, uh, maybe a ultimate Valkyrie, or just just her, just update her body mold. She's a bit too slender in this mold, uh, and now that Hasbro has those new molds, they need to go ahead and redo a lot of the females, like I said in the last episode. Little variant action, got a uh, Omega Flight, sorta. We need an updated Arcane Spider Woman. Um. With that new female body mold with that ab crunch and uh we also would need a talisman i think that was the chick's name if i'm not mistaken but i highly doubt that happening highly doubt it but uh they had a short little a mega flight mini series where the wrecking crew kicked the shit out of sasquatch so i got him here kind of talking smack uh but uh, Beta Ray Bill and the rest of these cats came to his aid. I love John Carpenter, U.S. agent. He's an asshole. He's great.
also want to remind all my subscribers to come out and like the ACBA fan page on Facebook. The link will be in the description. Cost you nothing. And even if you don't want to go into the group and post in the group frequently, at least like the fan page. That way it'll, you know, just certain things will show up on your timeline. You can pick and choose what you want to like and what you want to look at. It's not only pictures. It's also like reviews and different contests and giveaways and different things that are related to ACBA that I link to the page as well. And again, don't forget to check the comments of each post because there's little Easter eggs that show up in the comments of each post, whether it be a B-side or a C-side shot or another review or a link to some type of contest or something that you should know about. Whatever is posted, you should also check the comments of that post for other hidden uh, messages and things of that nature. Also, just want to say thanks to everybody who is a part of the group or uh, who has already liked the fan page. I mean, uh, like I said last week, I'm very, very happy with the way the page is looking on a daily basis and the level that everybody's displaying that. So thanks to each and every person who participates in the group who ha or who has already liked the fan page. So in other Hasbro news, I'm trying to acquire a couple of figures from the Star Wars Black Series, the six inch line. Somebody help me out. I don't know what's going on, why they named the three and three quarter inch line Black Series 2. They already had plenty of ongoing three and three quarter inch lines for Star Wars. What's the difference between the three and three quarter inch ones that they're putting out labeled the Black Series and any any anything else that has come out? Is it just more articulation or what? But um, I'm trying to uh, collect just select figures. Um, from the Black Series line. I'm going to get the R2-D2 because I anticipate getting CP3O. I'm going to get Han Solo because I anticipate getting uh, Chewbacca. I uh, definitely want to get all the villains. Uh, and I've been looking. I've seen uh, a couple at, at my local True and some at the True in Times Square too. But now that I got all my Toys R Us coupons and stuff like that for holiday time, I'm going to go scoop up a few. I uh, definitely want to get that Boba Fett. Definitely, definitely going to do that because I passed up on the SDCC one, uh, unfortunately. On that true run. I saw this the other day when I was in here, actually, but I'm not really big on these, even though they look pretty dope. I'm not really messing with the Predators too tough. Nah. With my man Dave. Hitting up a few spots today. Yeah, so I'm going to cop this R2-D2. Just look at the paint on him and see which one is good. We've been online for Matt Long. My man Dave is about to cop the Bebop and Rock Study. Finally made it to the register. Chilling with Jeffrey. He's here in person. Next stop, run up in Staples. See if I can find a damn battery for this camera. My camera haven't been working for months now properly. It won't keep a charge. No go at Staples. Check, check PC Richards. No go. Keep it moving. No go on a Radio Shack. They don't want me to charge my camera today. Best Buy. Where is that at? It's right there by the fucking hutch. Best Buy. Maybe they will have it. Let's see. No go at Best Buy. Time for a new camera, I guess. So the store clerk says. Fuck you, store clerk. Up in Target. I got a couple figures from Wave 2. The ones that I don't even care about, that I don't want. I don't want this Princess Leia. Where's that Greedo? Oh, she took it? Oh, and they had a greedo too, but we sent the chick to the back to look for more. Jackpot. This is how you hunt. Two cases. So, of course, there's a boba in there. And both. Of course, an extra greedo and uh, Leia. I don't care about those, though. Just got lucky as hell at Target. Dumb happy. I don't see the ships there. Uh, basically. Spent a hundred bucks on toys already today. Gotta be a responsible adult. Go in here and pay a bill though. Stop for a quick meal. I'm about to hit up this comic shop after this. We at the very top of the Bronx going into Magnum Comics. I've been here once before. I showed this on MTRT main course. This is like the bougie part of the Bronx. It's called Riverdale. <laughs> Is that what they call them, Stanks? Oh man, I sit here spending a lot of time when I'm in here catching up. I haven't actually bought comics in like over two, three years and kept up on it, but I've been here <laughs> for the past half hour reading stuff. Yes, 
sir. Shout out to my man Dave, yo. We had a good day, man. We did a lot, man. A lot of stuff I ain't filmed. We came up a couple of times off camera. <laughs> Shout out to my man Dave, yo. We had a good day. Today was a really, really good day, man. So I'm a little late on this uh, Star Wars Black series here. Uh, this uh, Luke and uh, R2-D2 was from the first wave. And, uh, and Toys R Us, I came up because um, I think I paid about $19 for the two of these. I had a bunch of coupons and 10% off and $20 off and this and that. And so that's the reason that I got these two at uh, Toys R Us. First of all, the prices in New York City is a little higher than they are. Uh, in other states uh, and we was also able to price match too so originally these were uh, $19.99 at, at My Toys R Us but we got them for $17.99 plus I got 20 bucks off plus 10% off and whatever whatever ended up paying way less than I should have uh, or than what you know what they were asking and uh, and I'm pretty happy with this purchase man I am actually much more pleased than I thought I would be with these figures. I do like the look and the feel of these figures. Now, granted, the R2-D2 could have been a little bit better as far as the detailing and paint, but you get a lot of accessories with him. He is true to his uh, movie counterpart for the most part, and I'm pretty... I was going to pass up on this Luke, but because these were the only two that they had at the True that we went to first, I said, you know what, I'm going to get it. It's going to be cheap. And uh, and I did, and I'm pretty happy that I got both of these figures, man. Not bad. I mean, if you want to see some in-depth reviews of the figure, check out my man Shardimus' uh, reviews. I actually had to refer to his review uh, as far as, like, the parts and accessories for R2. Because um, he, he does come with quite a few accessories. Um, but I am pretty happy with this purchase, I must say. So, not only were we able to... Score some things we wanted at Toys R Us. My man Dave got the Ebop and Rocksteady. But uh, we get over to Target and we were able to get two cases. And Boba Fett is really was the main attraction for me for this line. That was really going to determine whether or not I was going to get anything else. But I couldn't pass up on the, on the whole case. I did want Boba and Han uh, and Han Solo. So uh, pretty happy, man. Pretty happy with, with the purchases on the day. Then we uh, went up to, uh, we went a whole bunch of places, but we went up to Magnum Comics. Always cool when I go in there, man. The owner of that store is always mad fun to talk to. And we just stood in there for a long time, just chopping it up. And and I was just reading a bunch of comics and looking at a bunch of stuff. And real good day, man. Real good day. So I don't know if I'm going to get around to opening any of the figures from Wave 2 in this episode. I think I'm going to cut it kind of short. Uh, I don't know. I am kind of thirsty to open that Boba Fett, but um, a couple of things I want to talk about. Google Plus, I fucking hate it. I said that in the uh, last two episodes, I guess, but uh, I don't want anybody to get discouraged uh, from commenting on my videos. It was much easier for me to respond to you guys and and write right back right after you wrote something. And I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm a fucking old man. And I don't know how to work the internet. <laughs> so bear with me while I figure out this Google Plus crap. My light is dying. It's dimming down on my light, lightsaber here. But uh, just bear with me with that Google Plus crap. And uh, thumbs up this video if you hate Google Plus. Uh, there we go. Look at that, Kendall. Look cool, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't even remember what else I wanted to talk about. So I guess I'm gonna keep moving right along. I was actually just taking a break and just messing around with this figure for a while. So moving right along. Another really used figure, Dragon Man. <clears throat> from the Fantastic Four Classics line. It's probably because too many people don't even have this figure. It's pretty pricey now. 
seen it go for 300 plus dollars up to 400 500 bucks for this figure it's crazy this is a really nice figure really detailed and 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 nice i wish it had just a tad bit more articulation in certain areas wish the wrists had a swivel um but it is a really nice figure and i mean if you do get a chance to to get it for a decent price i would definitely go for it probably the only dragon man that we're going to get <clears throat> It's arguably not the right size, but I don't know. He's been drawing different sizes in the comic books. And actually, this is not the more modern look of the figure, uh, of the character. The character has been uh, with the Future Foundation uh, over the past couple of years. And it's the more rounded head in this area. It's not sort of that, like those jagged edges. It's more of like a egg head how he looks in the comic books right now, but it still works. I've got a few of my scrolls and uh, another rarely used figure, which is the... Um, the Kree soldier. I, honestly, I don't really like the way the Kree soldiers look much smaller than Ronan. I mean, I know Ronan, the accused, is supposed to be a pretty big character, but I mean, I guess when you got a lot of them and you put them all together, it looks okay. But the Ronan is really massive in comparison to the Kree soldiers. I do like how they gave you both versions, though. You get the blue face versions, and you also get the. Uh, the uh, white face versions of them. I don't think too many people really army built the uh, the Kree soldiers like that. Uh, I feel like more people held on to the scrolls uh, than they did the the Kree soldiers. But variant got a uh, Spider Woman doubling as the uh, Scroll Queen, like we saw in uh, Secret Invasion. I guess I could have played with the shadows a little bit more so you couldn't see her face really at all. But it's no big deal. I mean. Um, the reason that I go through all of these different shots and showing you the progression of the setup is to, to just to let <coughs> people know that you not it's not you know it's not easy you gotta take your time and you gotta go through all the motions and figure out what works and you know I show you the progression of it you know this is over uh, hours right here for putting together one episode I spent a lot of hours uh, setting up and filming and sometimes I'll leave this up for a while and come back the next day or uh, the next hour or something like that. I mean, sometimes things happen really quickly and sometimes they don't. I've been moving pretty fast over the past uh, 12 hours as far as knocking out the displays that you've seen so far. Uh, I've just had a big uh, bulk of, of free time, but, you know, I just try to show the progression so you can see that, you know, I'm not Superman, uh, I, you know, it takes me time and I get frustrated and stuff too. I was actually just sitting here with my daughter because she's sitting here trying to make her own display and she gets mad when it doesn't work out how she wants it. And I try to tell her, like, you know, I, I, I have the same problem. I got to go through the motions too, but I don't get upset. Right? Okay, right. Right. Cool. <laughs> that was cool.